Asante. Naibu Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa viongozi wenzangu mabibi na mabwana hamjambo you know it's it feels so good to be back home si ndio eh huh? it feels so fresh to be back home nikisimama hapa nakumbuka enzi zangu kama gavana wenyu wa kilifi eh huh? mimi mwanzo nataka nimshukuru mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa naibu rais kwa kukubali mwito wa kuja na kusimama na sisi wakati ambapo tunahitaji mtu ambaye anaweza kutupatia bega la kuegemea si ni nadra sana kupata mtu wa kujitolea kupatia bega la kuegemea wakati unahitaji wengi sana utapata nakuja wakati wa karamu kwa hivyo tunasema shukran kubwa uh, naibu rais kwa kuchukua wakati wako na kuja kuwa na sisi meda ni shirika ambalo usimamizi wao ama wake uko na uwazi mwingi ile hela ambayo utaipeana hapa unaweza kulala usingizi ukijua wazi kwamba pesa ile itatumika kwa minaji ile ile sababu ambayo ilikuwa imepeana there is a lot of transparency and accountability in this foundation called meda wakati mwanzo mimi nilikuja na kujua shirika hili ni wakati nilipokuwa gavana wa Kilifi and what attracted me more to meda is the aspect of scholarship and youth empowerment because i had gone through as a student both in high school and and in the university i had gone through a lot of pain raising fees hata huyu gavana wenyu ambaye ni gavana wenyu sahi he was a mayor then and by that time i was a student in the university of nairobi and i remember going to his parlor his office at the mayor's parlor in malindi na mngaro then the mayor alinisaidia kama kijana wa kutoka pwani ili nimalize masomo yangu kule yeah how i wish that a new meda then because certainly certainly meda would have stood with me uh in my journey for my my academic journey kwa hivyo kitu ambacho kilinivutia mwanzo ni hiyo scholarship there are many students very bright students in kilifi but from very poor backgrounds their dreams get shattered because their parents cannot afford to take them through the academic uh, journey and meda comes in to lend the much needed uh shoulder to lean on kama gavana wakati ule tulikuwa na kiti ya kusaidia watoto na basari but as government huwezi kusaidia kila kijana so meda became a natural partner to the county government and still is a natural partner to the county government to fill that gap that the county government may not be able uh, to, to to reach kwa hivyo kwangu mimi nilipojua meda kila mwaka likuwa sikosi kuja hapa ili kuchanga na meda nikijua wazi kwamba yule kijana ambaye anatapata hapa wakati mimi kama mimi nilipokuwa natapata hapa when I was a student at least anaweza kupata fueni kupitia mkono wa meda kitu tu ambacho nataka nipeane as an advice going forward because we love meda and we will always support meda please divorce politics from meda we love this baby called meda and the moment mkianza kuingiza siasa tu hapa kwa meda you're going to make this baby crawl and i'm saying this because in 2022 i saw something that shocked me of meda but then i was exiting as the governor of kilifi county and had been invited here nikasema ngoje niende manake to me it was a ritual kila mwaka lazima nije nichangie meda but before i left kilifi nikapata masimu kama gavana hata usitubuthu kufika hapa manake hata mapambo ya hafla hii 
si ile meda unajua everything had been turned orange so nikajiuliza okay i love meda so much and i really want to support meda but the environment was made so hostile that any reasonable leader will say acha ikae and nikasema kwa sababu sitaki twende tukarushiane makelele katika hafla muhimu kama meda let me stay in kilifi so for the first time i stayed away from meda barisi nilikuwa toka siku hiyo na jihukumu because ule mchango ambao ulikuwa nimebeba ni uleta hapa meda how many kids never all lost a chance to go to school because I withheld that donation of that particular year. Na nikasema ngoja nipige moyo konde yalopita yamepita ngoja mwaka huu niende nikachange. Na Mwenyezi Mungu akutupatie uhai kila mwaka tutakuwa hapa kuachangia tumeda. But please divorce politics from this baby called Meda. This baby is a fantastic baby and he can do so well if only we put politics aside we come together so naona vile tulivyo hapa eh naibu rais Kenya kwanza governor wetu Azimio mbunge wetu hapa ni mchanganyiko maalum but we are here for one cause cause ukiangalia the objectives women affairs hapo hakuna uda ama Kenya kwanza ama azimio it's women affairs period if you look at capacity building we are no capacity building azimio or Kenya kwanza early childhood environmental conversation youth empowerment sin bad park scholarship you read all these programs and objectives so let us rally behind meda as humanity not because we belong here or there Nikimalizia kwa sababu nataka tumpatie wakati mzuri uh, uh, naibu rais Your Excellency let me take this opportunity for and on behalf of the people of this region coast to say thank you for the program you've started Drug abuse is a major menace in this part of the country Madawa ya kulevia na ndugu zangu ni tuzungumze ukweli Madawa ya kulevia ni janga hapa pwani. Na naibu wa rais umejitolea wazi kupigana nalo. Kuna wengi walijaribu hii safari. Na ikafika pahali wakachilia kwa sababu ya kutishwa, kushurutishwa. Lakini wewe umejitolea na umesema liwe liwalo hili jinamizi la madawa ya kulevya ya kulevya lazima tulizike katika kaburi la sahau we thank you for that and as a leadership from this region we will stand with you mzee famao iko hapa mzee famao huu naibu rais huu mzee hiyo safari ya kupigana na madawa huzungumza paka kalia you know he is a great ambassador of the anti drug uh, movement within this region na bila shaka going forward as we talked tukiwa Mombasa as a leadership of this region we will stand with you we will fight with you to make sure that our youth gain independence and the drug free so that they can be empowered by meda and become better citizens and take this country forward kwa hayo mengi machache viongozi wenzangu nataka tusimame tumkaribishe naibu wa rais ili aweze kuzungumza na sikaribu na